Hello Taurus, thank you for tuning in to your love read. Um, for this section I'm going to do abbreviated readings because my voice is going in and out. But for the main part, for the tarot cards, I'm using the Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan. For supportive oracle cards, Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. Yeah, I want those though. Taurus, yeah, Taurus in relationships. Oh, wait, this is a relationship, right? Okay, okay. <coughs> I want to cheat, but I won't. You get all major arcana cards here. Okay. Now, don't get caught up in the gender of these cards, but your card is the empress. Doesn't matter about your gender, just this is the card explaining this. This is somebody who looks out for other people, optimally looks out for themselves along with everybody else. You know what I mean? If you look out for everybody but not yourself, that's not good. You have to include yourself in that. So that's good. I feel like this is good. I don't feel like this is bad for you. The other side has the High Priestess. This is an energy, and don't get caught up in the gender, which I feel like I need to keep reiterating that for some reason. This is an energy that like says, all right, this is what I have in front of me. I don't like this. This is not good. I do like this. This is good. But even though I don't like some of this, if I put this all together, I, I end up with more. We end up with a better outcome. We just got to kind of deal with the good and the bad and make it work to our benefit. That's this kind of energy. Now, these two people, like a lot of times in the deck, I think, I think of these as sisters or friends. Don't get caught up in gender again. But like these are, this is a close connection here. It's kind of like one is looking out for everybody, including the high priestess. Like the high, empress is looking out for everybody, including the high priestess. And kind of making sure everything keeps going, looking out for this, looking out for that, trying to take care of everybody. The high priestess has the empress's back saying, all right, I'll help you do that. It aids in that, but also says, all right, let's be, let's be honest. Let's look at what we're dealing with and let's not let people just screw things up. Let's not give people more leeway than they should have. Let's not be, you know, more restrictive to people that we don't need to be. Let's be a little bit more free with this. Let's be a little bit more honest with that. Um, they work together. They're like, they're, they, what the other lacks, the other one picks up for. It's a very complimenting energy. <coughs> so this is a good connection between the two. And I've got, the Taurus is the Empress. The other person, your partner, is the High Priestess. Again, you don't get caught up in the gender. It's just how these are coming together. They should work together very well is the point. Different ways of looking at things, but, you know, looking out for each other, taking care of things. Like what the, the other lacks, the other one picks up, and they help each other come up to power. So, that going forward, I see a lot of action on your side, getting things taken care of, doing what needs to be done, moving things forward, continuing on the same path. Uh, it's attraction. You're very happy about this. You're very excited about doing this. Path is up here. Path is showing up. Because whatever you're doing, you're coming up to a bump in the road is what I'm getting. Um, a bump in the road with the karma and the path. Like, you're on a certain... You're on a trajectory, and you're going to hit something. It's kind of like throwing a rock up in the wall, like up across, or throwing a ball, throwing a baseball, and the hit gets hit by the bat. Once the bat hits it, if it if it's going towards a window, it's going towards a window. You know, unless something gets in its way and stops it, it's going to hit that window. You know what I mean? It's kind of like that. That's karma with the path together. Karma and the path is kind of like the bat hit the ball. It's in air. It's just kind of like. It's like karma's saying, you already hit me. I'm out I'm out here. And path is like, I'm already on a trajectory. <laughs> Unless something gets in the way, we're going to have window hit. And the window's going to break. Um. <clears throat> so, the, the challenge card here is knowing that something isn't right. Having that inkling that, you know, we're headed towards something. We might hit a window. We might hit a window. You're already the trajectory's already set. Karma's already happening. That's like the challenge card is like not to just be like, uh oh, that might hit a window. Um, the challenge here is to say, heads up, <laughs> and like, uh, where are we gonna get another window? And somebody else, I feel like somebody'd be like, well, nothing. It didn't hit the window yet. You're like, yeah, but I think it's gonna. Um, <clears throat> 
that's kind of like the challenge card is to not leave it out in mystery and just to grab a hold of it as soon as you can. Where is this going? Let's just do that. This is not going to go bad. There is a problem. It's, I feel like it's a broken window type situation though. So like if you were, if you remember being a kid, which most of us do, unless you are one, which you could be. Like I remember like when you'd break a window, if that would happen or something would break and you're like, uh oh, I'm in trouble. It's kind of the difference. It's it's realizing like just owning up to it right off the bat will make your life a lot easier. If you if you try to run away from it and pretend it didn't happen, the, usually, well in my case, usually they would find out. And you're you're it's like paying triple time, paying three times over. When this happens, when karma hits and this something goes wrong, the challenge here is to not just hope it's gonna kind of solve itself. Because there might be a tendency to think, well, maybe that'll just solve itself. And, you know, if we're going to use the window analogy, kind of like, oh, yeah, I hit that person's house and broke their window. I guess they're going to have to fix it. Yep, you just kind of skulk away. Uh, um, no, no, I don't think it's going <laughs> to. They're saying when you know it's on a trajectory, you know something is going to go wonky. <clears throat> Try to figure out what's going to happen. Try to plan for it, and as soon as something goes bad, own it as quickly as quickly as possible. That may be a little uncomfortable, but own it as quickly as possible. It's going to be a third of the cost of what you have to pay if you just let it come towards you. If you let that person who got the broken window find you, they're going to be ticked. Because you know what? They may not figure it out because maybe nobody's home, and they figure it out later, and it's a rainstorm. And like all of a sudden, it's raining, and they're, try they're going to shut the window, and they're like, the window's broke. Now what do I do? It's going to be worse. As soon as you know something has gone wonky, because I feel like the tendency is going to be like to let it solve itself. As soon as you know something has gone wonky, go right towards it, identify it, and fix it. It's going to be a third as bad as if you just let it come towards you. Because that's going to give you the Ace of Cups. That's going to give you the acceptance. You'll notice acceptance is next to the Ace of Cups. So much easier for you. Things stay on plan. There's still some repercussions but things stay on plan. You're going to like that. I know this may sound very remedial, but like I know like even as adults, if you're an adult, of course, moments happen and you're just kind of like, ooh, maybe I can just kind of like not deal with that. Maybe I can just not, not deal with that because I don't really want to. Even as adults, we do it. We, we it's just we do it. <clears throat> and usually as adults... Not always, but usually it comes back around you to like, oh, if I just, if I just took care of it when I saw it happening, if I just did something when I knew it wasn't right, so much easier, so much better. So that's the whole thing there. As soon as you see something go off course, because I feel like you have to bring this to your partner's attention and that might be the kicker. Just bring it right forward. Bring it right forward. Even if you know they're going to flip out. Even if it's somebody you like and they don't. And you know you're going to bring this forward that, yeah, they screwed up. The person you like screwed up. And your partner's going to be all over that. They're going to jump all over it. Bring it forward as soon as you see it. It's easier. It's so much easier. So much easier. I feel like you're going to not want to. That's the thing. You're going to not want to. Just do it. It's so much easier. If you let it come back around and I feel in this situation it will, it's going to be worse. It's going to be a lot worse. All right, let's do Taurus singles. What do we have for single Taurus? Trying the abbreviated reading version. I think it's a little a little shorter than usual. I don't know. I get you, you get going and then you go. What do we have for single Taurus? Single Taurus. Might be good. Might be good. I'm just not trusting it because we don't have all the cards out yet. The, the last card is very interesting. I mean, clearly you're going to have to decide if this turns out good or not. For you, it's general read, blah, blah, blah. Okay. There's a lot of earth energy here. Well, three cards, but they're powerful cards in my opinion. That's good for Taurus. Taurus is Earth. Usually gets along with other Earth. Um, 
usually. I think the only challenge for Taurus is when it's another Taurus. And then it's like if they agree, it's great. If they don't, then, you know, that's a whole other thing. When I'm looking at the past of this situation, you got the King of Pentacles with the protection. Um, there's somebody, there's definitely somebody interested. <coughs> but they're kind of, I just feel them kind of like fading in and out. I wouldn't say they were like f f flitting in and out. I'd, th I'd say they were fading. Kind of like they're there. And then they, they got to do some other things and they come back around again. Nothing really is going forward really quickly. I mean, you're single, clearly. But there's somebody there with interest. But I'm getting the King of Pentacles with protection, kind of like they got a lot going on or something's up with them. And they just don't really want you to know. But they kind of are trying to see how much tolerance you have for certain situations because there's something going on with them. Something is going on there. So they're very cautious about how close they let you get um, I'm not really even sure if there's been a date or anything because when I'm thinking about this it seems like it feels like it's something coming up it's somebody who's around you but I, I just feel like they kind of get a little close and they pull back it's fade in fade out it's not really bad it doesn't seem to be bothering you but what I'm also getting is that you know more than they realize you know a lot more than they realize. Other people or something has told you. Somehow you know a lot about what's going on with this person. They just don't realize you do. Um, they may be a little naive to what they think they can keep hidden. Because it seems like you know a lot more than they realize you know a lot more. Now, I feel you actually realizing that this person's kind of shy. They're kind of shying off. They seem interested. They pull back. They go forward. I actually feel like you're the one that's going to move forward with this. You've got the full card. You're like, you know what? I do like this one. <clears throat> and I think we need to like kind of solve whether this can be something or not. And you approach this person with the two of wands, like, you know, would you like to hang? would you like to I feel you're the one who has to open the door. If you haven't yet, there's somebody that fades in and out. I'm feeling you're aware of this person. Nothing has really happened. I don't really feel like there's even been a date or anything like that. Minimal conversation if that. You may just see this person like glancing over your way. That may be all you're seeing. There may have been no conversation yet. But they're they're around, they look at you every now and then. You're presenting them with the idea of like, you know, would you like to hang out sometime? Would you like to do this? Would you like to do that? You got the full card, like you're just taking the risk. Let's give it a shot. They have the Queen of Pentacles. They would like to. Um I don't feel like you're asking a lot from them. Just something small. It feels like small. Like it's almost like almost like lunch on a Saturday or you know, something like that. It's like it's very it's not a big deal. Just like a little no stress. Let's just hang out, see how we th feel about each other, that type of thing. Um, I do see they're accepting it. It feels like like lunch on a Saturday or something. It's just like no stress. Maybe we could walk down this path out here where, where there's a lot of other people. No stress. No no, no, no no, big deal. Let's just see if we get along. That type of thing. Just hang out a little. You know. I'm getting the Page of Pentacles. I like this, actually. Um, things start off very slow. I feel like that's okay. You do like this person. Definitely. But... I feel like it's a lot of slow things like that. Um, <laughs> this person is holding back. They got this card face down, which is extremes. I feel like that, that's representative of the problems because you're not seeing it is what I'm getting. This is the problems. They got, you do, you do know a lot about what they're going through but you don't know all the details. For everything you do know, there's that much more you don't, if that makes sense. Uh, there's a lot more there. I do feel like this person's slowly gonna tell you what's going on in their life. And 
they tell you as fast as they feel like you can handle it in the sense of like if they tell you something and you look like you're a little like oh they're gonna they're gonna back off a little bit but if they tell you something and you're like yeah life happens it's okay or you know what I mean they're liable to tell you more quicker so you can kind of regulate how fast you want this information to come towards you because if you're kind of like yeah okay they'll keep telling you more it'll you get more and more. You'll find out what's really going on there. You get those details. Like for everything you do know, there's that much more you don't. But if you do kind of like recoil, like oh, a oh, what? Really? Your son is in prison right now, and you're afraid that when he gets out, he's going to expect a place to live, and you're afraid of what problems that's going to bring. Oh, <laughs> like oh, one of those things. Really? And if you're like a little shocked with that. They're going to be like, yeah, and they're, they're probably going to recoil with the, the other details because they feel like there's more. You get that far and you're like, well, that's probably it. No, there's probably more because I feel like that keeps happening to you. You're like, oh, well, I guess that was it. Oh, there's more. Oh, I guess that's it. Oh, there's more. Please let that be it. More, you say. Oh, I feel like that's what keeps happening here. Like, oh, there's more. Oh, there's more. Um, more, even more than that. Okay, there's a lot. Extremes is not a kidder. It's like, there's a lot. Like, it's, extremes is like, when you find out what's going on with this person, you're going to be like, whoa. Like, oh, wow. Like, it's not, it's, Taurus can handle a lot too, and I know that. So, don't take that lightly. When you find out what's going on with this person, even you're going to be like, that's quite a thing. Like, ooh. The question is, what way are you going to go with this? I feel like once you know everything, you got the Knight of Wands. It's left or right. It's in or out. If you're in, you're going to be completely in. If you're like, oh, uh-uh, and you're out, then you're out. Then it's done. You're going to be out quick. It's left or right. It's going to, it seems like it takes off real quick. It's like you're going along, you're getting to know each other, and then it's like, it's either like you're going, you're getting on the bus and you're going to town or you're like, I gotta go somewhere else, and we got goodbye. You're you're signing out. It's one or the other. You're not gonna know till those extremes are. But like, I, I also feel like whatever way you choose, you're gonna stick with. Please keep that in mind. Because if it's really, it's a lot. It's a lot. Just be sure you want to do that. Because once you're in it, I feel like you won't back down, and you'll stick with it. Just think about, you know, how what's that gonna be like in a year, three years, five years. Think about it that way. Where, well, how do I think this is going to be? Do I think it's going to be better in a year? Do I think it's going to be better in three years? Where do I think this is going to be in five years? And how comfortable are you with that? Because it's like, it's like, it's your best guess. I know that. So keep that in mind. All right. And that's where that's going. All right. I'm going to shut that down there. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email. James for astral at gmail.com. It's James the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.